of air by producing this roll sound. Lateral sounds are produced when the air stream passes over one or both sides of the tongue, but not over the center of the tongue. Say for example, learn, learn. So the air is passing through both sides of the tongue, and this is called lateral sound. Semi vowels. They are called semi vowels because they share the characteristics of vowels. They are consonants because there is little obstruction there. Sounds like w and y. W it appears to be bilabial because both lips are used. And y sound also shares the characteristic of consonant, but the free flow of air makes it semi vowel. So this is something about manner of articulation. The next topic in description of consonant is place of articulation. Place of articulation is based on the point of articulation where a particular consonant is produced. Say for example bilabial sound. Bilabial sounds like p, b, m. You can feel the production of vowels. When you say p, b, m, both the lips are joined and obviously they are called bilabial sounds. Dental sounds are produced with the help of teeth. Dental sounds like uh, th and th. Th is produced with the help of tip of the tongue, which touches the back of upper teeth. Th is also produced in a similar way. Hence, they are called dental sounds, where the point of articulation is back of upper teeth. Labiodental sounds like f and v are produced with the help of lips and teeth. Here, during the production of uh, f and v, lower lip touches back of upper teeth. Say, for example, fat, van, fade, vain. So, if you observe the lower lip, it touches the back of upper teeth. Hence, they are called labiodental sounds. Alveolar sounds are produced with the help of tip of the tongue and teeth ridge. Here, the tip of the tongue touches the teeth ridge in which the sounds like t and d are produced. In this process, the tip of the tongue is the articulator, whereas the teeth ridge is the place of articulation. So, uh, words like T and D, tap and dry. Here, T, the tip of the tongue touches alveolar ridge, that is uh, teeth ridge. D, the tip of the tongue again touches the teeth ridge. And hence they are called alveolar sounds. And the front part of the tongue is raised to a certain point of tongue or hard palate behind the teeth ridge. A sound like ch and j are produced by these organs. Here the articulator is front part of the tongue. The teeth ridge or the hard palate is the point of articulation. Ch and j, chair, chain, chairman, judge. These are the sounds produced in this particular point. Palatal sounds are produced with the help of hard palate. Palatal sounds are produced when the blade of the tongue touches the hard palate. The blade of the tongue is active articulation. An English sound like y is produced in this way. Y is palatal. Velar sounds. Velar sounds are produced with the help of back of the tongue. Here the back 
The tongue is active articulator because it touches the soft palate while producing the sounds like k and k. Here, soft palate is the point of articulation. Hence, they are called velar sounds, where velum is the major point of uh, articulation. Glottal sounds are there, and these glottal sounds are articulated in the glottis, which is closed during the process. Here, the two vocal cords are the articulators. The sound like H is produced at this point. These are the major places of articulation. The three term levels are given in this particular chart. A consonantal chart can be described with these three term levels. First consonant, P, can be described as voiceless, bilabial, plosive. B is voiced, bilabial, plosive. D is voiced, alveolar, plosive. K Voiceless, vela, plus you. G, hoist, vela, plus you. Ch, hoistless, palato alveolar, affricate. Ch, hoist, palato alveolar, affricate. F, is hoistless, labiodental, fricative. V is hoist, labiodental, fricative. Th is hoistless, dental, fricative. And the is hoist, dental, fricative. G is hoistless, alveolar, fricative. J is hoist, alveolar, Fricative. Sh is voiceless, palato alveolar, fricative. J is voiced, palato alveolar, fricative. M voiced, bilabial, nasal. N voiced, alveolar, nasal. N is voiced, velar, Nasal. H is hoist, glottal, fricative. L hoist, alveolar, lateral. R hoist, alveolar, raw. Y hoist, glottal, semi vowel. W hoist, velar, semi vowel. So these are 24 consonants with three term levels. And here there are some words. Transcription of words and sentences in phonetic script is another important part of phonetics. For transcription, a person need to have a knowledge of uh, IPA symbols and knowledge of vowels and consonants. So it is necessary to know exactly what is the standard pronunciation of a particular word in the native language. Here you have some examples of transcribed words. It's based on Daniel Jones's dictionary on pronunciation. Say, for example, able, able, yay, yay, able, yay plus bull, able, about, a, uh, about, ow, a, uh, b, ow, t, about, about, here you have short a uh, and b and very short a uh, and v, about. Accept. Even though there are, there's a letter C here, the sound is K. Accept. Accept. Here, beer. 
via though there are four letters the sounds are two b and ear ear is a diphthong b is a consonant bird b a d here r remains silent bird like curd shirt poor here r remains silent capacity here it is pronounced as capacity capacity college k a l e j college demand d e d m a m a n d n and demand we have develop d e v e l o p develop develop phonetics 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 f o o f o phonetics k s a beauty beauty b y a b u b y a u makes b u beauty photo 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 queen even though there is letter q the pronunciation is k here queen k w e n queen this makes queen so this is how one has to transcribe there are a number of words for transcription uh, the candidate need to have the knowledge of uh, phonetic symbols and the standard pronunciation in currency the next important aspect of uh, phonetic study is stress stress plays a major role in english in fact english is called stress time language i told you that english is known as masculine language kannada is syllable time because we utter all the words we write but there is a parent discrepancy between spelling and pronunciation in english we write something we say something we write c o l o n e l colonel but we pronounce it as colonel similar is the case with lieutenant the spelling is altogether different and the pronunciation is altogether different here so what is stress stress is nothing but an extra force of energy or amount of energy energy spent on a particular syllable say for example there is a word father father there are two consonants fa and the and a and a are two vowels compared to the fa is more stressed what i mean to say here is that all are stressed ones but some are more stressed some are less stressed it means we are using energy on all the syllables but on a particular syllable we use greater amount of energy which qualifies it to be a stressed syllable and here we have some examples if you look at this chart there is noun and verb same word is used as noun and verb when it is used as noun the stress is on the first syllable example conduct verb conduct the stress is on second syllable produce the stress is on first syllable when it is used as noun produce the stress is on second syllable when it is used as verb convict the stress is on first syllable convict the stress is on second syllable subject the stress is on first first syllable subject the stress is on second syllable similar is the case with object object progress progress record record so in all these cases verbs take stress on the second syllable 
there are number of words where stress is on first syllable, second syllable and third syllable. For example, examination, the stress is on fourth syllable here. So, for better practice and better understanding, one need to refer the dictionaries written by Daniel Jones and other phonetic scholars. Particularly, Daniel Jones's English pronunciation dictionary helps us to develop better pronunciation which is a standard variety and acceptable to all people. The proper study of phonetics will not only help us acquire better pronunciation but also help us acquire better speaking skills which is very much necessary in the present job market. So, the study of standard pronunciation will create a different image in every field of life. It's necessary to listen properly and practice properly. Listening plays a very major role in acquiring better pronunciation. So, two time listening is equivalent to one time speaking. So, everyone is advised to listen good variety of English continuously so that he or she can acquire better pronunciation. However, the best speaking is possible when you start speaking English. Continuous use of English and continuous use of standard variety will help you acquire better speaking skills.